Hello, my memers. I'm never gonna do that again, I'm sorry. Um, so, today... I guess it's like a story. It just happened recently. Like, actually, on this weekend. Last weekend. Um, anyways. So, basically... Me and my friend, we were volunteering to scare the crap out of some people at a Halloween trail. And, you know... Sounds pretty good, right? For the most part, it was. For a little bit of it, it wasn't. Um. Well, I mean, I guess I might have started off saying about the two types. The, there's three types of idiots we found there. Um. There was teenage girls in swarms, like hordes of groups. All right. And uh. Y'all have, pretty much all of them had their phone lights on, or out of every corner, or like, ee, ee, ee. It was pretty pathetic. I'm not even exaggerating about that, though. It was either, so even with the phone lights, they were still going all like, ee, ee. <clears throat> But, uh, anyways. And there was the, uh, second type of idiot. They would bring, like, their five and younger freaking kids to the trail and I mean there's some gruesome stuff inside that trail and freaking there were literally people that brought their toddlers there and they were screaming and the parents were like oh it's so much silver you'll be fine I just wanted to punch them in the throat and get this so uh, I had some candy in my pocket um, so, I reached to give him out some, and, you know, I had it out in my, from my hands, to, you know, give it to the crying little child, but, but, you know, it, it's perfectly fine to let a freaking two or three year old into a haunted trail with freaking, like, gruesome crap all over, but I guess the parents thought you're not allowed to take candy from strangers, cause, you, you, you know, the freaking, like, 11 year olds, um, I'm not even exaggerating. They literally were fine with bringing their two-year-olds there. But, oh no, taking candy from a couple of 12-year-olds, that's just, that's just crazy, man. Why would we want to do that? But anyways, the real story here, um, some idiotic, there was, I'm sorry, there was the other type of person probably came across about five of them the, the stupid drunks and we're gonna talk about one drunk okay well two um one of them he was like super super drunk all right and uh he he went to go i guess hug my friend because he had a creepy mask and in the process ended up spilling his beer on him yeah, he, he's, he's pretty stupid. And the second one, he, uh, went to go hug me. And oh my, oh my gosh, his beer breath. It was so bad. His beer breath. Oh, I wanted to vomit right there. But I guess I didn't, because that would just be too nice. Well, oh my gosh. Too rude. But, uh, yeah. That is, uh, pretty much it. Oh, and there was, uh, my friend. He scared somebody from behind. And it was, he was a drunk. And, uh, they were like, I wet myself. Uh, yeah. And, uh, I guess that's the end of the story. So, uh, bye.